Hello, Zodan here with another vlog, and god damn it. So, today's topic, I'm going to be talking about my computer. I done broke it, <laughs> well, part of it. So, I installed the new Cryo Rig H7 heatsink, right? And then it failed to boot, it didn't start up. Nothing showed up on the monitor. I could hear, I could hear, see all the fans spinning. I could hear the hard drives booting up, but nothing shows up on the monitor. So I tried uh, some troubleshooting. I, I removed everything, removed the motherboard, removed the heatsink, removed the RAM, removed the GPU, the video card, power supply, everything, removed everything, and then reconnected everything all again. Still same result. And then. I tried to remove everything except for the power supply and the CPU with the heatsink. Started up. There's nothing on the screen, but I could hear three beeps. So something. So it's saying, "Oh, you don't got any RAM," which I've removed. So okay. So I put in the RAM, and I tested each stick and each slot, and it appears one slot is not working anymore. I'm not sure why. One slot, the closest one to the CPU, to the CPU, that one's not working. The one that's a little further away is still working. My motherboard only has two CPU slots because when I built the computer six years ago, I chose the cheapest motherboard I could find, which now I see is a big mistake. Because if I had, if I had like a motherboard with four RAM slots, maybe I could, you know, just switch it to a different the different set of RAM slots and it would still be working, right? Oh, man. So now my computer is running on four gigabytes of RAM instead of eight gigabytes of RAM. And I, well, I try, you know, watching videos on YouTube, uh, watch, uh, watching my home videos, my older videos. The video is fine, so the, and then I open up uh, Overwatch while Chrome was open, I could not open up Overwatch. I guess there's not enough RAM. After I closed uh, Chrome, and over Overwatch ran with no issues, and the GPU fan spinning when the over when Overwatch is running. So nothing wrong with the GPU as far as I can tell. Yeah. So it's, so far, it just seems to be that one RAM slot is not working. Everything else, as far as I can tell, all my hard drives, all the data still there. No hard drives are being missing, nothing, not like the keyboard, the mouse is working, the webcam is working, all the fans are working, the power supply fan, the CPU fan, the case fans, GPU fans, all spinning. Yeah, so everything seems to be working except for that single RAM slot. I'm not exactly sure why. When I removed everything, I, you know, clean everything out. I did use alcoholic wipes. And I did not use like any anti-static wristband because I, I that's what I I've been doing for years. Seems to be no issue, so I don't know if my luck has run out or it's just unrelated. But right now I'm thinking it's because of when I was cleaning it, pro most likely with the alcoholic wipes. I mean, I mostly just wipe like the case fans, like the surface of the PSU, the the GPU. I don't believe I wiped the RAM sticks or slots or the motherboard itself but it's possible maybe while I was wiping something it it, it touched the motherboard maybe or or because of the static I usually touch the inside of the case of the computer to ground out the, any static discharge or whatever it hasn't failed me yet so I don't know if maybe the alcoholic wipe accidentally got onto it and when I was wiping, I mean when I was cleaning the the CPU off the thermal paste, maybe I accidentally dropped some rubbing alcohol. Yeah, rubbing alcohol. CVS, 70%. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure. I thought maybe the thermal paste of the CPU or something was something wrong. I, I reinstalled that, reseed. I wiped it clean and did it, install again. By the way, the CryoRig H7 was a pain in the ass to to mount on. I tried mounting it without removing the motherboard. That was really hard. I had to, I had to remove everything. Yeah. 
I had to remove the motherboard in order to mount it securely. Anyway, like I was saying to sold RAM, I'm not sure if it was from static shock or from the alcohol or just, I don't know, it just broke. <laughs> I mean, definitely it has something to do with me like taking it out, cleaning the computer or something, right? Or maybe like when I took it out, it broke. When I put it back in, it broke or something. But I, both RAM sticks appears to be working on the second slot, RAM slot. Just that first RAM slot is not working. I know the CPU cooler is not clipping the RAM slot or anything. The RAM, is, it doesn't touch the RAM stick. It doesn't touch the RAM slot. So it should not be the CPU cooler. God damn. And I was going, I was thinking of getting, upgrading two sticks of 16 gigabytes of RAM. If I'd done that, it, now I would, would have been wasted but now i only have four gigabytes of ram instead of eight so definitely there's some lag going on on my computer and okay so yeah i wanted to make this make a vlog earlier but i i spent like the whole afternoon yesterday af like afternoon night and then this morning trying to fix my freaking computer I, yeah i'm not very fast when it comes to things so like everything i'm trying to trying Every time I take apart the computer and all this stuff takes like 10, 20 minutes and like time just flies. You know, take a break to go to the bathroom, take a break to take a shower, take a break to eat, you know, all that stuff. God damn. So I'm, s so I think I'm going to have to get a new motherboard. I don't know any tech experts watching this video. If the RAM slot is damaged, is there any chance like it will it affect any other parts of the computer? It's been running for like two hours now, no issues besides lag from lack of RAM. So yeah, I tried also removing the battery, clearing the CMOS, like there's a pin or whatever you can go from one, two to two, three. So it, it did mess up the boot drives and I, but I, I reset the boot drive priority. So yeah, it did fail to boot up properly because of the boot drive or whatever the bios was cleared or something like that but i fixed that so right now it's just that ram slot that's not working just that single ram slot that's not working and so yeah tell me what you know about motherboards computers if that ram slot is not working will it have any impact on the other motherboards on other slots or parts of the computer the computer is around six years old now is it possible it just died from old age? Although I doubt it because it was working fine until I removed, took it out. Until I was cleaning the computer, you know? When I, until I was mounting the CPU cooler into it. So like before, before I shut it off yesterday, everything was working fine. It did crash occasionally, like the other day two times. So maybe, maybe, the RAM stick or the RAM slot, I mean the RAM slot was possibly the, the like something's wrong with it and then and when I took it out that just, I don't know, killed it. Or the static from, you know, maybe every time I've been cleaning it without an anti-static wristband it's been slowly killing that RAM slot, right? Okay, slowly killing my motherboard. So does that mean I should be getting a new motherboard soon? That means I need a new CPU and I'm pretty sure the new motherboards don't use DDR3 RAM. I'm not sure about that. Could I still reuse my old RAM sticks? Or do I want to be getting new DDR4 RAM, 16 gigabytes, yo? Because eight gigabytes is barely enough and four gigabytes now is definitely not enough. And then, uh, I mean, GPU, the GPU is fine as far as I can tell. So I could probably be fine with using that. Plus, besides, I also have two older GPUs. So I don't have to worry about of getting a new GPU. Everything else, I only have like the one of. RAM's only one CPU, PSU. Power supply. Uh, do I need a new power supply? Maybe for like a higher capacity. I don't, th I don't know if anything's wrong with the power supply. Probably not, right? Right now. I'm guessing it's the RAM slot. Something so the so technically the motherboard. The motherboard isn't dead, but it has a problem with the RAM slot. Yeah, so all this rambling and stumbling. 
So, yeah, so I could probably get away from reusing the hard drives and the GPU and the CPU cooler, obviously, on the new CPU. So maybe I can reuse the RAM, or but I'll probably want DDR4 RAM. And then I can reuse the case. So yeah, tell me what you, what you, tell me, what do you think? I mean, yeah, tell me, let me know what, what kind of new parts I would need for a new motherboard. Yeah, and I also would have to buy Windows 10 because I have Windows 7 key. I have the Windows 7. I got that from college for free a long time ago. I've been using that ever since. And uh, yeah, there's one point I like. I think oh, I forgot 2015 or 2016 where Microsoft offered the Windows 10 upgrade to anyone who owned the Windows 7. Yeah, so that promotion is ended now. So I don't know what does that mean. If I reinstall the new computer using Windows 7 using this key, will it just be Windows 7 again, or will it be will I? qualify for a free upgrade to Windows 10? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just save money and just reuse the Windows 7, right? When I'm not sure if there's any difference between Windows 7 and Windows 10. I think Windows 10 boots up a faster at all, so... I probably do want Windows 10, because I'm used to the speed now. <laughs> the Windows, Windows 7 boot up really, really fracking slow. Okay, I think that's enough rambling, so yeah, tell me what new parts I would need if I upgrade to a new motherboard, get a new motherboard, a modern motherboard, besides the CPU, I'll probably, I need new RAM, right? Do I need a new power supply? And, yeah, do I need new SATA cables? Because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> hard drives, so the hard, one, I think one or two other hard drives is six years old or possibly even longer. Might have been from the previous computer. Might even have looked like a 10 year old hard drive in here. Uh, and the power supply is six years old. Cases, they can never go bad, right? So I could probably keep a case, right? So I do I, do I need to be getting a new power supply and new hard drives if I get a new motherboard with cpu and ram please let me know down below if you managed to make it this far so yeah if hopefully you're enjoying this series and this is going to be a little late to upload because yeah been been freaking out over my computer finally fixed it sort of but now i probably want to get a new new one because i don't want it to if it fails on me then i'm boned because next time i'll get yeah, motherboard with four RAM slots. So if one RAM slot dies, I could still have the other three or two, right? Yeah. So yeah, subscribe if you have not already. Support me on Patreon. Support me on Patreon so you can help me buy new computer parts, right? Like, comment, rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, and. Yeah, so as for the Let's Play videos and our videos, it should not interfere because I already have quite a few uh, videos uploaded. Unless my computer dies for real, permanently broken, I should still be ha So you don't have to worry about videos anytime. Uh, I mean, for at least like a week or two, right? So if, if nothing dies, still gonna be doing making new video, making videos. Still gonna be videos, daily videos, all right? So yeah. Okay, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.